I wrote this, I swear. So you don't need to watch the end of the video. I can already say that uh, Busan is a good city for digital nomads. Yes. Look at here. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. There's no more need to watch this. <laughs> All right, quick video. We're in Korea. We just landed. just landed. Now we have to train, take a train all the way to Busan because it's too panic. So today is like ultimately a travel day. We started at like 7.30 and now I think we're gonna get in at like 7.30 probably. The food, the food is good. It's not my favorite food in the world, but so far we have found really good food also. I think in yeah. Seoul, maybe the food will be different. So let's see, this is very sea heavy food. My first kimchi, which is oh, there is a self bar there. <laughs> the best thing about Korea so far. Okay. Was it called that Juju? No, we so made it to Busan. After 12 hours. <laughs> 12 hours, we crossed over South Korea once by plane and then we crossed it again by train. And now we're in Busan. And we have found a lovely place that serves this kind of sushi and Gigan, something like that. Yeah, we, we oh, just so ordered good. another one. <laughs> yeah, and the most important thing is soju because we need to calm our nerves. Um, good morning from Busan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning from Busan, South Korea. Um, once again, my hair is doing some weird things. It's uh, raining the whole day. It's raining. It was our sightseeing today. Yes. And the 100% of rain for the whole day, so we go to the gym today. Impressions of Busan, I feel like it looks, to me, at least this area, reminds me so much of being in like a Chinese city. Like any Chinese city, you have just like these tall, tall buildings, and then lots of commercial stuff on the bottom. And it just looks like a little like commercial, fake kind of town. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, cool so far. It's a different vibe from Japan. Definitely different vibe from Japan. Uh, Korea feels a little bit more like China to me. Uh, don't hate me for saying that. Okay. Okay, so just kidding. We are back at home. <laughs> the gym is fucking why. closed after a 25 minute walk there and back. Day one, week two, we finally got to go on a run and we're going to the gym now as well too. Hopefully it's open today. Um, chest and back. Busan on a sunny day completely different from yes. what we saw so far. Totally feels like Miami as well, even though we've never been to Miami. But, but we will. <laughs> it is like literally the probably one of the ideal digital nomad cities. Yeah, especially if you like soup with sea seaweed. Yeah, okay. If you like soup with seaweed, is your place. Lunch time. We have kimchi, kimchi, kimchi. So I guess every More place pickled. we go, we have this. We always have these little starters, which are so good. Should we get one to go? Fish, little fish, hundreds of them. Okay, so what is this? Fish, codfish, maybe. Codfish stew, it's called. It's tasty, but there are some bones. Yeah, it's a big bony fish stew. And then here we have an egg roll with, it looks like, is that right? It's either rice or like fake, I'm not sure, I think it's actually fake uh, crab, whatever that is, yeah. imitation crab, and then it looks like roe or something like this in here. Um, looks delicious. Yeah. Different from sushi we've been having recently. And uh, much healthier than the barbecue we had last night. Yes. So what do you think about the food? So we were saying that it was probably the least favorite of the places we've been to that we've been traveling for the last like, I don't know, since January. Which means that we've had a lot of good food. This just wasn't even that bad. But it just wasn't our fave. Fabio really struggled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I left some there. Yeah. The soup was not so tasty. And yeah. I put too, many, too much seaweed yeah. in 
its side. So cod soup is not my most recommended dish in Korea. No, that's my favorite dish. So you want Restaurants the, in Korea. You want the octopus? <laughs> so yeah, it's not the cool thing in Korea is you can use one of these little systems here to um, get on a wait list and it's through your phone numbers so you can go around have a beer have a walk while you're waiting and then you'll get a message or like a notification but you need a phone number yeah so the waiter was uh, so kind and he put his number yeah not... i guess we have like a fake phone number like it's like a data phone number it's not like a yeah anyway what we need Okay, so you take one of these, scoop the octopus through it, and then you add all the toppings on, so add some wasabi. Alright, and some pickles, and a little bit of as well for some spice. How do you think Korea they make sandwich? So ungrateful. Mm. Yeah, little tacos. Little seaweed tacos. Mm. But the seaweed is very seaweed. Very sea very sea tasting. Very salty. We are too early for the expo. Too early for the expo by seven years. Join us back in seven years. To see where we are in life. And hopefully we'll come to Busan for the expo. This is like the coolest street of Busan. Um, what's here? Just plenty of seafood, restaurants and stuff. We actually haven't eaten anything here yet, but it's just fun eye candy for us. We are running. Yeah. We were running, but I got too thirsty. Fabio so I had my favorite tired. drink. <laughs> Fabio Curry. gave up on us. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Going to karaoke. Let's go to karaoke. I'll show you on floor number four what what's happening with this karaoke bar. Ready? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> It looks like people need to pick up their mail. It's like everyone dead in this building. This is the weirdest place ever. And down there there is a karaoke, but does it look like a karaoke? Yeah, it's super bizarre. So tomorrow we go in that thing, so you have yes. to keep on watching the video if you want to see the amazing place look where it's going. Cute little trains. We're gonna be on that. So last night in where? Busan. Busan. Last night in Busan. The clock was, uh, is counting. Do you see that clock? That clock is counting our countdown. Our hours. Our hours. Yeah, maybe 14 hours. Yes. Hours. It was an uh, unexpectedly cool visit. Yes, we are total fans of Busan. We recommend it to any nomads. Um, freaking awesome view, by the way, at this park. We're in Busan Park, let's call it that. And <laughs> you definitely have to come here and check out the views, particularly at night. It's beautiful. This is the place where we leave. Yeah. It's about half the size of this one over here. The tiny, less than half, actually. Yeah. But it's so cool. I have a TikTok. Goodbye to our little Busan studio overlooking the marina. We loved it. Fresh flower.